good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video guys you already know what it is it is wwe action figure surgery episode number 20 i cannot believe we're already on episode number 20 feels like we just started this series but i'm super excited i think this is going to be the most productive and the most incredible insane episode thus far because we got a lot of great swippages and swappages four to be exact i said four but you only saw two of my fingers so i look like a complete moron idiot but nonetheless i said four and that's what we got here today guys you already know how we're gonna do we're gonna switch up our figures improving them making them look incredible by cracking them apart and switching their parts and frankensteining them together but anyways let's get straight into it i guess we can start off with my boy cedric alexander you guys already know in my review of it if you missed it definitely go check it out elite series 67 cedric alexander we got him right here both him and kofi kingston in the wheelchairs and they are going to be uh they're going to be getting a torso swap so what we're going to do is take both of these gentlemen and we're going to switch their torsos kofi kingston and cedric alexander i don't know why it's focusing on that chair back there but there we go both of these guys are going to be getting their torso swapped and they're going to look a lot better mattel failed us they gave us this daniel bryan style torso and that is not going to work we're going to switch on this one it's going to look a lot better a lot more accurate to my boy cedric alexander and that is what we're going to do for him that is all we're going to do for him and we may switch this over here it's not that important to me i'll probably do that in a later date or something but there's Cedric going to put him back in his wheelchair and we're going to wait on that. The next thing that we're going to do guys is switch up this man right here, Velveteen Dream. We also reviewed this figure along with Cedric in the same video guys. Definitely go check out that review but we're going to be switching Velveteen Dream's torso with this Shelton Benjamin. It's going to look a lot more accurate to Velveteen Dream. I know the Velveteen Dream is totally ripped up but he is not jacked like this. He is definitely lean and ripped up but I think this torso will work better for him. So we're going to be switching this Elite 63 Shelton torso over to Velveteen Dream. And I believe that's all we're going to do with Velveteen. So Cedric and Velveteen are very easy to do. We're just going to switch those torsos. And then the rest of what we're going to do, we're going to take this Elite Series 67 Jeff Hardy. This is my regular version, not the Chase variant. Since I have two of these, I'm going to take my basic 90-whatever-the-hell series basic Jeff Hardy head scan, and I'm going to pop that on there. That should be relatively easy. And I'm going to take this head and possibly customize it. Since I have two of them, like I said, I'll probably customize this one up, paint it up or something, and give it a pretty cool uh, paint job. And I think that'll be a really sweet fix-up, putting that head on there. And then we have the finale, or something. I don't know what, what, like what order we're going to go in, but we got my other Aleister Black Elite from my boy D. Dean Joseph. If you guys don't know, DJ TV on YouTube, he's hooked me up with my NXT Elites, and he completed the set. He sent me the Killian Dane and the Ruby Riot to complete the set, and I also had him pick up me an extra Aleister Black for this reason. Shout out to DJ TV. Go subscribe to his channel. Thank you so much, bro, for that. We're going to be switching the... This is where I'm sort of having a problem. You're probably wondering what this Bullet Club AJ Styles is doing. So, I've had this custom AJ Styles for a really long time, and it's bothered me so much that I used an Elite 45 Seth Rollins to make it. You guys can see there. And it's just not doing it for me anymore. So what I'm going to do is take the lower legs off of this AJ and take the lower legs off of Seth. And I need to know from you guys which looks better on the Alistair because we have to switch one of their lower legs onto the Alistair to make it the correct height. I know on the last episode of Action Figure Surgery you guys were wondering because we kind of failed. I figured it out and top talents, lower legs or Elite 52 Seth Rollins legs are what make him the correct height so that is what we did with this other Alistair and you guys can see the height difference here and or not not really you can't you can't see it maybe uh you, can, you can't see it but anyways the, the Alistair is the correct height now so to make this Alistair the way I want it to I'm gonna have to either switch on AJ Styles or Seth Rollins top talents legs and then I'm going to either add the all white kick pad or the all white knee pads from the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, or I have this extra set of cash-in Seth Rollins knee pads. I don't know which ones I'm going to use, but I think I'm going to, for the time being, I'm going to use these Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin kick pads. Uh, I think they'll tie in well with the black and gold for now. I don't know if I'm going to acetone them or what I'm going to do. I just have to figure out what formula I want to use. Do I want to use, I'm for sure using the kick pads, but should I use the white and gold knee pads, or should I use the black and gold knee pads, and should I use the black and white lower legs with the, so the, the kick pad will be here and then I'll have a black rim or should I do the all white with the white rim
him on the Seth Rollins. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's it's really difficult to tell. Maybe I'll just go with one and maybe switch it later. But after we do all that swappage in, I'm going to paint this. And it's not going to be on the episode. I'm not going to custom paint it today. But I will do it later on. And I'm going to try to keep the design and everything. And have a all-white or custom white attire Alistair Black. That was the whole point of getting two of them. But I've been rambling on. And you guys know we got the super glue to seal the torsos. And we got all the good stuff going. But let's go ahead and start off, guys. I don't know what to start with. I guess we can start off with Jeffrey Hardy. All right, guys. So I got Jeff Hardy in position. This one shouldn't take very long at all. It should be the easiest swap that we have here today. So let's go ahead and put the white hair dryer, trusty white hair dryer in place and hit this hoe. All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough. Gonna try and pop the screaming head scan off. Yeah, that's a thick AF head. Jesus Christ. Ooh, I don't know if I like it. Let's, let's heat it up some more. All right, guys, that should finally be good enough. Let's see if we can get this head scan off. And still, man, so stiff. So be careful. If you ever heat up your Elite Series 67 Jeff Hardy head scan, be careful on removing it because it is uh, a very thick head scan. So, you know, it, it could be dangerous to try and pop that hoe off. But let's go ahead and pop the basic head scan onto the figure. And there we go. We're going to tighten that up. And we will take a look at that figure at the end. And we can move on to our next bit of surgery. And I don't really know what I want to do next, guys. Uh, what should we do next? Should we move on to the torsos or should we move on to the black? Let's... Uh, Let's move on to Aleister Black. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we are going to go with the Seth Rollins ones, and then I guess if I hate it in the end or I hate it, you know, later on, I can always switch it back. It's not a big deal. There's no pain or anything involved, so I could easily switch that out, but let's go ahead and heat up these legs and switch them around. All right, guys, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and check it here and see if we can get these lower legs off of black. And I always find that the end... God dang, bro, it's not even hot. I don't know what the hell. I mean, that thing was sitting there forever. What about Seth? Let's try Seth. And Seth, yeah, Seth is good, I think. Yeah, Seth is good. So we slide these pegs out here, and we'll slide the white peg out of there because you're going to need that. We got the knee pads there. I don't know why I didn't just use these, but, you know, it is what it is. Go ahead and pop this other peg out. And never mind. I don't know why it's being so stupid. Okay, so I got the other leg, but I don't know why Aleister Blacks weren't good enough. Maybe I should try again. I don't know. Maybe I'm just idiotic moron. So we got Seth. Now let's move on to Aleister Black, like I said. And maybe it, it will come off. I'm just being dumb. Okay, it does come off. I'm just stupid. So there's Aleister Black's first leg, and we got his knee pad, and we got his peg. And we got everything else, and I, I highly doubt this leg comes now. Yeah, this one's really stiff, and I got it anyways. Jeez, just stop saying words. All right, so we got all the parts off. Now all we have to do is heat up the Seth Rollins legs again, and then we can switch them over to Aleister Black. And there, that's what he looks like when he's Captain Dan, if anybody was wondering. So now we have to heat up these lower legs of Seth Rollins. And I guess I'm not going to switch anything else. We'll just do the uh, we'll just do these kick pads for now and switch them on to black. And I'm not going to put any legs back onto the Seth. So now all we have to do is heat up these lower legs of Seth, and then we'll put them onto Alistair Black. I knew effing moving them would eff them all up. Golly, just stay put. Jeez. All right, guys, I took the liberty of already popping the pegs onto Aleister Black and the knee pads. That way, this should be easier to go on. That way, I wouldn't have to waste any time. Oh, my God. That was really freaking hot. And... There we go. One of the easiest ones. I find that the, the Seth Rollins lower legs are pretty easy to put on. Um, easier than other legs that I've found. So, there we go. Popping that in there, just like the other side. And almost there. People wonder why I don't use pliers, and the reason I don't use pliers is because it damages the plastic and it actually leaves imprints. Even if you use a towel, it'll leave imprints. So there we go, and I think I've gotten it, or I've almost gotten it. And yes, I did get the other leg. Now all we have to do is pop off the kick pads of the Seth Rollins because they're, I don't think they're going to make him tall enough. They're going to be the same height as if, uh, you know, ah, Christ, this stuff's still flimsy. All right, so what we're going to have to do is heat up these Shelton Benjamin kick pads while these cool off and get hard again. All right, that should be good, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully these kick pads go straight on here. There's the right... 
and there is the left i do believe and bam we'll take a look at that at the end like we uh, will do with jeff hardy and now we are going to move on to our torso swaps, which includes Cedric Alexander and the Velveteen Dream. All right, guys, I've already took the liberty of heating up the water. I put it in this big bowl right here. Never done it in a bowl, but I figured that's the best way to get the figures in there. So I'm just gonna stick them all in there one by one. It may overflow, but you know, it is what it is. I, I don't think it'll ever, maybe not. It may not overflow, but I gotta make sure all four of them get down in there and, you know, get their torsos in there so that we can crack all four of them. And we're, we're going at this angle because I want to make sure that I can get everything in camera view and I'm going to do my best to do so. I want to get it on camera for you guys, but at the same time I want to make sure that I get, you know, a good, you know, crack in there. So if I don't capture it all, I do apologize because I want to make sure I get the crack correct instead of uh, capturing it on film and, you know, butchering it all to hell. But anyways, I will see you guys once the uh, torsos are completely ready to go. Now what I've done is I have this flathead screwdriver and hopefully this can get the job done. I have multiple friends that can actually do this without even uh, using hot water or anything, which totally blows my mind. It has taken me so many attempts. At, I've broken so many figures and just ruined a ton of uh, WWE figures trying to do this, but hopefully today, you know, I can uh, hone in on my craft here and actually get this right. I've done it right a few times in the past, and I've started to get the hang of it, so hopefully that will remain the same here. I took the liberty of already removing the heads and arms as well to help me out in this process because when the heads are on there the torso can't be cracked and the arms just sort of get in the way so i went ahead and did that but we're gonna let these sit for a minute and we'll come back all right guys here we go we're gonna take them out here and i'm gonna let them i'm gonna pat these hoes off because you know how they be i don't want to get freaking destroyed by it i seem to always do that anytime we torso crack here on the channel i swear to jesus i end up getting absolutely blistered by the hot water and i don't want to do that here today so we're gonna do our best not to but Oh yeah, this is definitely hot. I gotta dry these hose off. I'm gonna move the bowl of water out of the way and dry these off as best as I can. And I guess we can start off with the Cedric torso. And here we go. All right, well the Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander is pretty much cracked, so hopefully Kofi's will be this easy to crack, because if it's not, then uh, we're gonna have some problems. But yeah, that was a clean crack right there, good stuff. So there we go, we got Cedric Alexander's done, and then we're moving on to the next one. Gotta hold on to his shoulders though, because we're gonna have to use those for the uh, the switch. And I guess to uh, hold us over while I've cracked the other torsos, I'm gonna put the lower half in the water, that way I can pop those later. But uh, let's move on to the Kofi Kingston torso, which has some marks on it, but I think that's just from the hot water. I can easily get that off or fix that. But uh, here we go with the next one. And bam, I think we got both both of those torsos are completely cracked good. So we did we did well, man. We're moving along here. Let's now uh, move on to the Velveteen Dream. Yeah, we got that one cracked. Well, Velveteen's was really easy, by God. Wow, very clean crack. Wish the others were that easy. Again, with the shoulders, gonna have to hold on to those, but I'm gonna keep them separate from Cedric. That way we don't get them confused, because I believe they're the same skin tone. Again, putting him back into the bowl and moving on to Shelton. Got that side, and I believe we got the other side. All right, guys, we got all of our torso pieces together. I'm actually surprised that that went so smoothly, but I guess it is time to start constructing our figure. So right here we have the Velveteen Dream legs. What I'm going to do is take the uh, portions of the, uh, the torso here. We got the lower portion here, and we got to get the... I, I like to start with the back portion. So we'll start with the back portion. We'll plug that in right there. Let's get the excess water out of there. And we plug that on right there. I believe we shouldn't have any problems like as far as it being loose or, <coughs> loose or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get our crazy glue. Every single time I open this glue, I think it's some chemicals or something that's in it. But every time I open it, I swear, like my eyes start like getting like burned or something. I don't know. They start like uh, watering up and everything. But uh, let's go ahead and stick this onto our torso piece. Get the glue in here, hitting all the different parts. and sticking it together here. So this is that Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin lower part of the torso. 
I'm gonna squeeze that together good. Make sure it's all on there tight. You know, you don't want your torso coming apart when you're posing it or pick fedding it or whatever. Now for the upper torso part, you wanna plug it in like so. Oh, F, the little piece fell out. You can't forget this little piece because then you will uh, have a very loose ab crunch. Then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the lower portion, adding all the glue to the major uh, little parts. We're gonna place this together. And voila, Velveteen Dreams Torso is done, guys. So now all we have to do for Velveteen is add his arms and his head. And now we're moving on to Cedric. And mercifully, this torso saga is over, guys. We got a completed Kofi Kingston torso swap onto the Cedric Alexander. We have our Velveteen Dream, and now I'm going to add the arms and head off camera, and I'll see you guys in the last segment of Action Figure Surgery, episode number 20. And here we have everything that we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Holy shnikes. I don't care what anybody says. These figures look amazing. I am totally satisfied with all of them. Um, I'm a bit confused on this one. You know, Aleister Black, I guess we can start off with him because uh, I really don't know what to do, guys. I told it, like, bear in mind, I am going, I'll probably switch out the elbow pad for a white elbow pad. I will be painting the trunks white, leaving this design on there. And uh, we will be, you know, I, I just don't know what to do here. I mean, I think this looks good. I mean, I want your comments down below. Please let me know what you think. Should I go with the cash-in knee pads? Should I go with the white with black little cylinder here? I don't know, man. It was just really confusing. But I, I like it right now. It looks fine right now. But it could change in the future. He is the correct height, though. He's looking good. I love the way Aleister Black turned out. Jeff Hardy, another figure that turned out great. You know, anytime you have a non-face paint Jeff Hardy and these this specific Elite 67 sleeves just look so epic. I'm so excited for the way this came out, and now it gives me an extra Jeff Hardy head to customize and do some customs with, so that's really cool there. And the final two, the main event right here, guys, my lord, tell me that we shouldn't have got them this way. Tell me Mattel shouldn't have just made the figures this way. I think this looks much more accurate to Velveteen Dream. It is a much better looking torso. I think that it like matches way better for him. He's not as jacked as uh, Triple H, guys. He's just not. This fits him way better. It's more of a leaner look. It looks great. And for, C Shel uh, or for Cedric Alexander, he looks incredible. Both of these guys look fantastic. I love the part choice. The torso swaps for worked perfectly. I didn't botch them, and they turned out incredible and better than I could have ever imagined. So I'm very happy the neck pegs actually fixed or uh, worked, too. I didn't have to switch out the neck pegs. Those neck pegs actually worked for those head scans and I did test them before popping them on there because I didn't want to have to recrack the torsos and all that BS but these look great man what a successful day of surgery Dr. White getting better and better every single time he gets a patient under the knife and I love all four of the figures I think they turned out great as I said I would love to know your comments down below guys please let me know what you thought of everything we did here today on WWE action figure surgery can we reach 2,000 likes on this WWE action figure surgery if we can get to 2,000 likes guys I will be totally thrilled that will make me so very happy. So please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.